Hey friends, so linear energy transfer or LET for short is a term you may have come across when talking about radiation and dose in medical imaging. But what is it exactly? It's defined as the amount of energy that ionizing radiation transfers to a material or a piece of tissue as the beam interacts with that material. And it's an important concept because it helps us to understand how the different types of radiation such as X-rays, gamma rays, neutrons, alpha and beta particles can affect human tissue. X-rays and gamma rays, for example, are considered to have a low linear energy transfer or LET values, which means that they transfer relatively small amounts of energy to human tissue as they pass through them. And that's because they're high energy photons that interact with human tissue primarily through the Compton effect, which results in a scattering of the photons rather than a direct energy transfer. Now, if you don't know what the Compton effect is, I've made a separate video on that, which you can find down below. X-rays and gamma rays have quite a high penetrating power compared to particulate radiation. And as a result, the ionizations occur in low densities and over a much greater the thickness of matter. What this means is that x-rays are relatively safe for use in radiography, as long as they're of course used in appropriate doses with the proper safety measurements in place. Alpha particles on the other hand have a high LET value, which means that they transfer relatively large amounts of energy to human tissues as they attempt to pass through them. And this is because they're charged particles that absorb quite easily in materials. Essentially all ionizations occurring within a distance of a few microns, which means that can be stopped even by a thin sheet of paper. So this means that alpha particles are much more likely to cause damage to human tissues if they're absorbed in large doses, and of course require much higher caution. Again, this would be known as high LET radiation. And when we're talking about beta particles or neutrons, they're somewhere in between. So it's important to note that radiation with a high linear energy transfer is significantly more damaging to biological tissue than other forms of radiation. This is because the high LET radiation deposits more energy in a smaller area, causing more damage to the surrounding tissue. It's also worth noting that this feature plays a crucial role in determining dosimetric quantities, such as the relative biological effectiveness or RBE of a given radiation. All right, that's it for this short explainer. I've linked down a few other relevant and helpful videos, such as this one, where I talk about the different types of radiation in medical imaging, which I recommend you watch. So click here to watch that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.